This is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, I'm going to show you how to treat your dog and cat's diabetes at home with natural home remedies. Diabetes in dogs and cats, signs, causes, and natural solutions. Most pet owners first suspect that their pet has diabetes as their dog or cat is drinking and urinating much more than normal. This may be accompanied by increased appetite, but also weight loss. Here's a kitty walking on his rear hocks, which can be a sign of diabetes. Occasionally there's noticeable leg weakness or dropping down on the rear legs. Some people notice a sweet smell to the breath. If not noticed early, your pet can become very ill with a condition called ketoacidosis. This requires immediate veterinary treatment. Diabetes is a result of the pancreas not producing enough insulin to allow the body to utilize blood glucose or blood sugar. This results in high blood sugar levels causing the increased drinking and increased urination. Here's a diagram showing where the pancreas is located, tucked up next to the stomach, the first part of the small intestine and also adjacent to the liver. Some dogs and cats are genetically at risk of developing diabetes. Pets that are obese, such as this dog here, typically are on a high carbohydrate dry food and they really are at a much higher risk. To the veterinarian, if you suspect that your pet is diabetic, you need to have this confirmed by your veterinarian. Most dogs have to be regulated with twice daily insulin therapy. Most cats begin with insulin, typically twice daily, but with some diet alterations may come off insulin therapy altogether. Ask your veterinarian about Glargine. The brand name is Lantus. It's a longer acting and better at regulating difficult to regulate diabetic cats. In this section of the video, I want to show you how to withdraw the insulin properly, and then I'm gonna demonstrate injecting saline into my own cat, Gussie. Um, for sake of example, we're imagining here that this red top tube is insulin, which is taken out of the fridge. I suggest first holding it in your hand to warm it up, somewhere between 30 to 60 seconds. So it's quite warm, so you're not injecting anything cold first, and then gently rocking it from side to side. Um, is what I always advise my clients do first. So now you've got the insulin warmed up, it's rocked properly so it's mixed properly. Um, here's an insulin syringe, um, this is a rel relatively small one, it comes in maximum of 30 units which is 0.3 of a mil. Each little notch is 0.1 one hundredth of a mil, so it's a teeny amount. A pretty typical starting dose we would give to many cats would be as low as 2 units. Um, so that's just two little notches on this little syringe here. It's difficult to see here. So let's just, by example, I'll put this in. I'll drop a little bit past the two unit mark. There's a bit of an air bubble. I'll flick that syringe so I can get it down. So I'm pushing the air bubble out. I've drawn past up to the five unit mark and slowly flicking it down so I get it to the two unit mark. There it is there. Okay. Now we've got two units drawn up in the syringe. So then in terms of giving it, oh, it's okay, Gussie. Often I find it's nice to distract your cat with something they enjoy, such as a small little treat. And then, oh, it's okay, Gussie. So generally what you're doing is you're picking the flap of skin up here in between their shoulder blades, easiest to find. It's okay, Gussie. And then you're just putting the small needle just in there. There. Most guys tolerate it really well. Thank you, Gussie. Eliminate the carbohydrates. I mean, I can't emphasize this point enough, especially if you're all the cat owners. Changing to a less than 5% carbohydrate, high protein canned food is probably the single most important change to make. Eliminate the dry kibble and only feed canned. And I want to also emphasize this for the dog owners as well too. I mean, there's increasing thoughts around that whole glucose spike following the high carbohydrate meals in people, obviously in dogs too. And do whatever you can to decrease that carbohydrate content. Some commercial diets in the category that are very low carb, high protein will include well as chicken or turkey, fancy feast, chunky chicken or chunky turkey, nature's variety or organic, and all the raw frozen diets. I'm finding that we control diabetes in about 50% of the diabetic cats by only feeding a higher protein canned food. Supplements. Well, chromium is a supplement that makes the cells much more receptive to taking up blood sugar. 
and may help lower the dose of insulin. The dose is 25 milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily. Diabetes affects the other cells in the body, damaging tissue and organ cells. Antioxidants limit this damage. The two important ones are vitamin E and vitamin C. The vitamin E dose being 100 international units per 10 pounds twice daily. The vitamin C dose 100 milligrams per 10 pounds twice daily. Fish oil. One increasingly effective supplement help, helpful in treating dogs and cats with diabetes is fish oil, the essential fatty acids. It may increase insulin sensitivity. A cat dose being one regular thing, capsule per 10 pounds of body weight once daily. And equating this dose is we're looking at a therapeutic dose of 1,000 milligrams per 10 pounds daily. So based on the body weight of your dog, dose them accordingly. And the last one I want to discuss is cinnamon. Um, very much overlooked. Um, it's a very tasty spice, been shown to help regulate blood sugar. It's a potent antioxidant. The active ingredient is called MHCP, which mimics insulin to improve blood sugar regulation. The cinnamon dose is a quarter of a teaspoon per 10 pounds daily. Thank you for watching this edition of Veterans. What I want you to do right now is click that link, that link in the box below, and I'll be sending you my free books and videos on how to treat your pet with my top natural remedy.